Hello friends, today I will show you how to install Ubuntu the new version 13.04 desktop in VMware Workstation version 9 for Windows. You need a couple of things to get started. First of all you need a VMware Workstation product you can get them by visiting VMware.com, click on download now to get free 30 days trail version and the other thing you need is the desktop ISO that's the image file of the Ubuntu installation CD. To get that go to ubuntu.com slash download slash desktop. When you get to the download page for Ubuntu desktop I want you to take a look at the choose your flavor options over here on the right. Note that there are two options 32-bit option and a 64-bit option. You should take a 32-bit option as recommended even if you have a 64-bit computer, it's going to work better in the virtual machine. Now to start the downloading process click on Ubuntu 13.04. So once you get those things, go ahead and install VMware Workstation. Right now I am using VMware Workstation 9 for Windows but don't worry the whole process is also same for VMware Workstation 10. Ok now installation is done, go ahead and fire up VMware Workstation. Select yes to accept the license agreement and click on ok. Now we're going to create a new virtual machine. Click here and that'll start up the wizard and then I recommend that you choose the typical that is recommended installation option. Make sure that is selected and click next. We're going to select the disk image file. Now browse to find it. We're going to choose the Ubuntu 13.04 desktop ISO and click open. Go ahead and click next. Now fill up the details and click next. Now provide a virtual machine name that is Ubuntu 13.04. It's going to save that to your default file if you'd like to save that to a different location, like to an external hard drive you can select the location at this point. The maximum disk size that it's going to use by default is 20 GB now but you can bump this up as per your requirement. Ok here I'm going to suggest that you split the virtual disk into multiple files. That will make it easier to copy, for example if you want to copy it from your hard drive to any external hard drive or either to a flash drive or something like that, those files are split into multiple files. Go ahead and click next you can verify the installation parameters here and click finish and it will automatically start the installation and begin processing. Now this installation is going to take about a half an hour. As it installs so it's going to flash by a number of messages on the screen. These are mostly introducing Ubuntu features of the operating system. While the installation is going on your mouse will get swallowed up in the installation box itself and so if that happens and you need to release the mouse in order to do something else while this is installing, press Ctrl plus Alt to release the mouse cursor. The installation is completed when you reach the login screen. To enable full screen mode you can either select from the view menu full screen or you can simply press the full screen icon. Now go ahead and click inside this box and enter the password you created when you get the installation during that time the screen may also try to resize. So now we see the quick launch toolbar over here on the left. Click on dashboard home icon and this will show you the list of all applications. You can also go down here to the bottom click the second icon and that will show you not only recently used but all the programs that are installed on your system. Now to change appearance settings click on appearance icon and set as per your liking. Now to unpin applications from quick launch toolbar give a right click on application icon and select unlock from launcher option. Now to shut down click on gear icon and select shut down from there and then click on shut down. That's it friends, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching and please like, comment and subscribe.